Today's adventure starts at the little castle. The elf farm. Nanny Plum, where's breakfast? So sorry, Your Majesty, but the elves haven't delivered the food yet. A boiled egg is all I want, Nanny. Can't you just magic one? I could magic an egg, of course. But real farm eggs taste much better. I don't care. I'm hungry and I would like an egg now. Very well, Your Majesty. Abracadabra. Uh, boiled eggy. Ugh. Ooh, smelly. That's disgusting. What is it? It's a dragon's egg. Well, get rid of it. I could magic a real chicken to lay an egg for you. No, don't. I think I'll wait for the elf farm delivery. It might take some time, Your Majesty. I am not leaving this table until I've had my egg. As you wish, Your Majesty. <coughs> Nanny, they're here. <laughs> <coughs> Food delivery! What kept you, Mr Elf? King Thistle is waiting for his breakfast. Sorry, Nanny Plum. We dropped a carrot on the way and had to go back to pick it up. OK. Let's get this food into the castle. Carrot, tomato, small lettuce. Oh, but where's the egg? <gasps> the egg? That's the one thing we need. The king wants an egg. We'll go straight back to the elf farm and get one. Holly, do you want to come with us? Yes, please. Nanny, can I go to the elf farm? OK, Holly. You can make sure we get a good egg. <laughs> <laughs> Buzzing noise. I hope it's not the engine. It's Gaston the Ladybird. Gaston, we're going to the elf farm. Do you want to come along? Old elf. Hello, Princess Holly. Welcome to the elf farm. <laughs> you must wear this hard hat. What for? In case something falls on your head. Ooh. This way to the carrots. <laughs> this is the carrot field. Ooh. Princess Holly. Hello, Mrs. Elf. <laughs> this way. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is the lettuce patch. Ooh. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Clear the area. Why have you got an umbrella? We are going to make it rain. With magic. You don't need magic if you have a big watering can. Wow! Push, 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 push. That's amazing! <laughs> if you think that's amazing, wait until you see the tomato plants. Ooh! These are the tomato plants. Wow! I'm afraid we have tomato bugs. Oh, dear. Tomato bugs like to eat the tomato plants. Go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, they keep coming back. Yes, 
If only we could find a way to get rid of them. Gaston scared them away. Of course. Ladybirds like to eat tomato bugs. Clever, Gaston. You should be our chief pest controller. <laughs> <laughs> now we can harvest a tomato. Carry on. Right o. Tomato! That looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job that's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. <coughs> wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. Wait, <laughs> Princess Holly. These chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. <laughs> A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> <laughs> Follow that chicken. Clockwork has wound down. Quick, Holly, let's wind it up. Oh, hello. Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Nanny Plum, I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my chicken. Nanny, can you speak chicken? Yes, Your Majesty. So, what did it say? Mrs Chicken said... Oh. Look, there's our chicken. Careful, Nanny Plum. That is a dangerous animal. Don't be silly. It's just a chicken. <laughs> the chicken's laid an egg. Hooray! Hooray! Mm, yes. A much better service than the elf truck. Eh? What? Nanny Plum, could you ask Mrs Chicken to deliver an egg for breakfast tomorrow? Certainly, Your Majesty. Ahem.
today's adventure starts at the little castle. Daisy and Poppy. <laughs> We'll be having porridge for breakfast. Hooray! <laughs> porridge! Porridge! <laughs> but the porridge pot is empty. Yes, Holly. Daisy and Poppy will be practising their magic this morning. Nanny Plum has taught them a simple porridge spell. <laughs> wandy, wandy! I've got a bad feeling about this. Just to be clear, Nanny Plum, nothing's going to go wrong, is it? No, Your Majesty. I don't want another magic jelly flood. That was jelly. Porridge is a very different beast. And Daisy and Poppy have been practising so hard. <laughs> Little porridge pot, fill, fill, fill. Well done, Daisy and Poppy. Hee <laughs> hee. The twins should make breakfast more often. Hmm. It's quite tasty. More, more, more. Daisy, Poppy, stop! More, 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 more! Ah! 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 Stop it, Nanny! Little porridge pot! Stop! Yuck! I'm covered in horrible gooey porridge, thanks to my silly little sisters. <laughs> now, now, Holly, remember, Daisy and Poppy are only babies. And we'll have this porridge cleared up in a flash. <laughs> I'd forgotten the twins knew how to say more. More! More! Oh, when I was a baby, the first word I said was bang! That's not a good word for a magical baby to know. Bang! 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 Give Mummy your wand. <coughs> I'll be off then. My friends are coming round to play. Ah, yes, Holly. Mummy and I were thinking it would be fun if you and your friends played with Daisy and Poppy today. But, Daddy! It would be a chance for the twins to learn your games. But, Mummy! Hi, Holly. Hi, Ben. Coming out to play, Holly. Sorry, Fleur. I can't come out to play. Why not? Uh, Daisy and Poppy are with me, so we have to play in the courtyard. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're so sweet and ickle. They're not sweet. Wandy, Wandy! Do you want to hold my wand? It's glittery, isn't it? No, Fleur! <laughs> Kitty cat! <gasps> Meow! <laughs> ah! I see your friends have brought a little kitten along. Meow! Uh, that's Fleur! She gave Daisy her wand. I see. Run away, kitten! Come back, Fleur. And which poor friend was turned into this insect? No, Mummy. That's Gaston the ladybird. He's meant to be like that. <coughs> ah, yes, of course. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> now, children, the twins are only little, so please play gently. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And the twins must stay in the courtyard. Yes, Mummy. Have fun. <laughs> wow, your little sisters are something else. I know, they're a menace. So keep hold of your wand, Fleur. But they're so sweet and echo. I'm sure they didn't mean to turn me into a kitten. Meow, meow. <laughs> So, what game shall we play? How about hide and seek? Hidey, hidey! The only problem is the twins can't count yet. I'll help them count. I'm very good at counting. OK. Now close your little eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, let's hide! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming. Ready?
Bet you're not. Oh, where are the twins? Daisy, Poppy, it's not safe for you to fly so high. Kitty Cathy! Meow! <laughs> <laughs> into a kitten again. Run away, kitten. Come back first. So where are the twins? And um, they kind of flew away. They've escaped! Uh, and they've sort of got my wand. Goodness knows what damage they might do. Don't worry, we'll find them. Elves are good at that sort of thing. And, and we're, we're elves! elves. Ah! So, how are you going to find them? Easy. Gaston can sniff them out. <laughs> Gaston, find Daisy and Puppy. <laughs> My goodness, Daisy and Puppy. You're a long way from home. We better ring your mummy and daddy. Bunny Rabbit! Now, now, Daisy. That wasn't very nice. Bunny Rabbit! What's going on? Bunny Rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. I think we found my little sisters. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits. That one's wearing my dad's hat. Poppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny. Or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty! Meow! <coughs> Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> Birdy Wordy! Birdy Wordy! <coughs> Phew! Do you think that's it? <coughs> yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. <coughs> Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Puppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies. Come back, elves. Fly away, birdies. Come back, twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But, Nanny, the twins are impossible. They are a bit of a handful. Well, I suppose no harm was done. No harm done? They turned us all into rabbits. I know. I'm most impressed. <laughs> but, but... The little darlings are getting really good at magic. Foggy, foggy. I think I'll take those ones. We won't be needing any more magic today. But Nanny Plum, we can't just leave her as a frog. Can't we? No, I suppose not. All right, Holly. Magic her back again. Hop away, frog. Come back, Nanny. Good night, my little ones. Sleep well. Ah, oh, they're fast asleep already. Well, they have had a very busy day, Your Majesty. I expect playing with you big children really tired them out, Holly. Uh, yes, Mummy. Something like that. I wonder what sweet little dreams they're having. Tiger, tiger, alligator. Crocodile. <laughs> 
today's adventure starts at the little castle. Queen Thistle's teapot. Da da doo dum da dee da. Dum da dum dum da dee da. Da 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 dum da dee da dee. My new fairy tea set has arrived. Ooh. Ooh. It's so beautiful and it's so sparkly. It's also very delicate, Holly. That means it breaks easily, so you can look, but don't touch. Yes, Mummy. It is a beautiful teapot. Shall I give it a bit of a dust, Your Majesty? No, Nanny Plum. Even you mustn't touch it. Yes, Your Majesty. Good. Now, as it's such a lovely day, why don't we go for a nice walk? Can I stay here and look at the tea set instead? All right, Holly, but look... And don't touch. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Ooh. Hello, Nanny Plum. Hello, Ben. Can Holly come out to play? I'm afraid Princess Holly is very busy looking at a teapot. Perhaps if... Ben, I've got something to show you. <laughs> OK, Holly. <laughs> Look, Mummy's fairy tea set. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, I suppose so. No one is allowed to touch it. Not even Nanny. Why not? Because it's very delicate. Well, what can you do with it then? Well, you can have tea parties with it, of course. Uh, but we're not supposed to. Just hold them, silly. It's not hard. Look at me. How do you like your tea, Mr Elf? Weak or strong? <laughs> ah! Ah! Holly, you've broken the Queen's teapot! Oh no, Mummy will be so sad. We weren't supposed to touch it, were we? No. What can we do? Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra, abracadoo, uh, mend this teapot. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben, aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf? Ben Elf! <laughs> so, can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben. You're my very best friend. And you're my only hope. Uh, OK. I've got stuff for mending things at home. <laughs> we can carry the pieces in this box. But what if someone sees us? I can make us invisible. I know that spell. Abracadibbly dibble, make us invisible. Hey, it worked! Come on! <laughs> dum da dum dum ta ti da. There's Nanny. Ben, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bother. My invisible spell has worn off. That's all right. We're nearly there. No one will see us now. Hello, Ben. Hello, Princess Holly. Uh, hello, Mrs Elf. What are you two up to, then? Uh, nothing, Mum. We're just going to mend something. Yes. Elves are good at mending things. And you're an elf. <laughs> yes, Mum. This is where I keep all my mending stuff. <laughs> Glue, paint, brushes and glitter. Oh, goody. First, I have to put a mat down so that we don't get glue on the floor. Yes. 
And we must wear aprons to keep our clothes clean. <laughs> now what? We stick the pieces together with glue, like this. One, two, three. There, it's stuck. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. There, it's mended. Hooray! Hmm, it doesn't look quite right. Uh, we can paint it. Yes. That's better. Hmm, it had flowers on it too. I'm good at painting flowers. There. But I think he was a bit more sparkly. We can use glitter. <laughs> <laughs> I love glitter. It's so glittery. <laughs> there. Hooray! Do you think your mum might see the difference? Uh, yes. Maybe it just needs more glitter. No, Ben. We tried to mend it, but it didn't work. We'll just have to ask Nanny Plum for a spell. All right, let's go to Nanny. Da la la dee da 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 da. da, da There's da, Nanny. Da, go on, da, ask her for a spell. Da, la, la. Nanny, da, 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 da. please can I ask you a question about spells, please? A question? Of course. Nanny. A little friend of mine has broken something and wants to mend it. What spell can she use? Do I know this little friend? Uh, no. She's a goblin and she lives far away and you don't know her at all. Is it a special thing this little goblin broke? Yes. And did the little goblin break it on purpose? No, it was an accident. I didn't mean to break it. <gasps> oh, I see. You broke it. Oh, Nanny, I didn't mean to break it. Oh, don't worry, Holly. It can't be that bad. It is that bad. Don't be silly. It's not as if you've broken the Queen's teapot. <gasps> what did you break? The Queen's teapot. Oh. Mummy's going to be so sad. But we did mend it. Well, I'm sure it's OK then. It doesn't look exactly like it did before. Ah! Please, can you fix it, Nanny? Don't worry. I know just what to do. I knew Nanny Plum would have a spell to fix it. I'm not going to fix it. Are you going to buy a new teapot? No, much simpler than that. What? We'll tell the Queen. <gasps> Excuse me, Your Majesty. What is it, Nanny Plum? Unfortunately, there has been a little accident. Accident? What happened? I'm sorry to say that your teapot has been broken. Oh, <gasps> the teapot I said no one was to touch? Uh, yes. Nanny Plum, I told you not to dust that tea set. Yes, Your Majesty. I have a good mind to turn you into a slug. That's a bit harsh, isn't it, darling? Could you turn me into a snail, perhaps, instead? No. Mummy, it was me. I did it, and I've been sad all day. <gasps> and now you're going to have to turn me into a slug instead of Nanny. <sighs> oh, oh no, my poor darling. Don't be sad. It's only a silly piece of pottery. But, Mummy, you were going to turn Nanny into a slug. Oh, I didn't really mean that. Huh? Sorry I made you sad, Mummy. Oh, Holly, I'm only sad that you felt you couldn't tell me. We did try and mend it. It doesn't look like it did before, but the children have tried their hardest. Oh! That is beautiful. Just as beautiful as it was before. Shall I give it a dust, Your Majesty? No. This is one of a kind and very fragile. No one must touch it. 
promise. We, we promise. promise. I will treasure it forever.